August 20, Thursday, Memorial of St. Bernard, Abbot and Doctor of the Church, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus spoke to the chief priests and the Pharisees in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast. But they refused to come. A second time, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away. One to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out therefore into the main roads, and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord A Wedding Feast the king invites to the banquet virtual strangers from the thoroughfares. We can imagine peasant folks huddled inside the palace and enjoying themselves. The parable shows how Israel has failed as God's chosen people in their refusal to listen to Jesus' word and to put faith in him. The Jews reduce themselves to oblivion. Meanwhile, the pagan people receive and accept God's offer of salvation. God desires salvation for everyone, but we cannot come to God with rebellious hearts.